I never did it. You know what I'm saying? And now, being that I never tried and I never did it, my family has left nothing. So I want to go ahead. So I went ahead and I did what I did. And that way, that that way, if something was to happen to me, they would be left something. And and that's that. Residual income. Yes, plenty, plenty of people. I I had to take out of my circle, man. As 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 far as artists, producers, people that was a producing or helping out, or just people who were just hating, you know, hating on the movement, hating on what we were doing, hating on how we were doing it, and, and just hating on 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 the people that were doing it with me. You know, so I had to separate my, separate myself from them. You know, I'm cautious, no remorse for niggas, but still, I will offer nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but that's 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 another story. I'm from the hood, but you know, I came a long way, Justin. Yeah. I came a long way, dog. But it's a lot of people I had to get around from around me. People that were snakes. You know, people that would just talk about us and. Things like that But I, we just kept it moving I just kept it moving And, and look where we at now That's all I gotta say though exactly. How's your family life with the kids? Huh? Your family life with the kids How's your family life with the kids? <laughs> Not good It's good at times I'm gonna put it like this Put it like that And like I said earlier I made a, a lot of sacrifices in my life you know, and, and everything just happened recently. This is just like out of the blue stuff that just happened, like, you know. But it, it, it's not good, you know. One thing I can say about uh, my daughter, she's very smart. You know, she, she's she's my everything. I call her, I've been, I called her princess ever since she was born. Um, but one thing I can say, another thing I can say about her is that she's, um, about to be thirteen years old, and she is. She acts like she's twenty one years old. So, and she's like I said, she's very smart. So, as far as my relationship, as far as with her, um, it's been up and down for since since I came home from you know what I was telling you earlier. Since I came home from being locked up, it's been up and down with me and her. Uh, but um, we had some good times. We have some bad times. We have some. Understandings and we have some misunderstandings, uh, but we always we always come around, you know. We always I don't know. It's, it's we have a we have a, a bond. Um, we have, we do we do have a a, a, a close bond. Um, but you know we just we just we we you know get into it sometimes, and uh, I guess it's because of what I do. Um, I guess she she feel like I'm into. Um, what I'm doing more than when I'm into her is not even, and it's not like that. It's 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 all before her. That's how I was. I I said, um, it's all for. And I mean, I know she probably don't believe it, but it is. And um, um, I don't know you spend so much time doing that, doing this, doing that. Don't saying guys you out there shaking your ass too when the song come on and doing the the whoop dee doop dee doop and whatever you call them dances. It's the same it's the same guys that that sacrifice being around their families to just to build something and, and and try to make something for themselves and pursue a dream that they always have so that they can take care of their family. But yet you shaking your ass to this shit. But yet you get mad at me for doing what I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying? So I mean I don't I don't understand that conglomerate or if anybody disagree with me you could call three four seven two nine two eight seven seven four I don't understand that but um I still understand her side of the story you understand what I'm saying but at the same time I need everybody to understand my side of the story and my side of the story is right now or back then I was trying to build something I was I'm build I was building. And it's all, and it's built. It's done. It's been done for uh, for the past year and a half, yeah. two years. It's been accomplished. 
It's been bringing in revenue um, quite a bit. Um, and so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with what I've done, and uh, and and it's, it is what it is. Exactly, exactly. So you think you can make up for lost time? I can never make up for lost time. Ever. You can never make up for lost time, but what you can, well, what you can do is keep on living and try and make things better. And that's my goal. My goal was never to make up for lost time, but my goal was always to make sure that in the end, I did something to make sure that everybody was okay and everybody was living comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't know no man in this life that's successful today that if that if they didn't make sacrifices, their families wouldn't be in certain positions that they're in when they're long gone. Yeah. You know, and I could I could stem that all the way from the Kardashians yeah. all the way down. If their father or mother didn't make sacrifices to build, you they wouldn't been be in the position where they are today. And that's just that. Exactly, exactly, man. It's, it's definitely, that's definitely, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's basically, you know, you, you got to make sacrifices if you want to get something done. That means even if you have to, you know, look, go around and, and look a certain way or something like that. And I'm not talking about people like Kate or myself, I'm talking about anybody. You know, um, but I know people who, who actually sacrifice the way they look just to make sure they've been going on the ground. You know, people think they they they, 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 they you know they bummy or something like that, and basically it's like, no, I'm just that my all my hope, all my money and my energy is going into into, into making this happen. So therefore, one day I could feel comfortable, I can buy all the clothes I want. Mm-hmm. So I got the money, you know. And some people don't understand it, but hey, you mm-hmm. can't listen to other people. They're not on your level. That's right. Uh, Stop Like Dinner was, was a was a group at first, drastically. It was a group in 2003. Um, the group split. It was a hip hop group, you know, and the group split up. You know, groups went different ways, or they might have went with another, you know, group or or something like that. And I kept Stop Like General's Entertainment going, and I I went and I got the name trademarked and copywritten and and got it um LLC. Um, and what I did was I actually started a record label um, with Sidebox General Entertainment and signed various artists under the label at that time. Um, Sidebox General Entertainment was um, just recently um, incorporated, and the reason why I incorporated is because I wanted to incorporate um, three other divisions and things under it. So I wanted to secure those divisions as well. So that's why I incorporated South Block Juniors Entertainment. And now on the South Block Juniors Entertainment, um, we have Kings County Records, Kings County Digital. We have Big Apple Records, and we have Real Live Distribution. And we also got Fuller Management. And South Block Productions is coming soon, you know, which is going to be consist of movies. And, um, you know, producing and directing, you know, movies and things like that. Um, but that's coming in, in maybe the early um, 2016, January, February. Uh, I'll start, um, you know, working on that. Um, and South Block Juniors Entertainment is also co-owned by UPM Records, um, multi- Incorporated. So, um, um, so South Block has is, is become, you know, a lot of things. It's become big. Um, each label in the South Block has different deals and different things going on. Um, so, um, and my, my thing right now is to keep building it, um, and keep building it, um, as far as the labels that's under it. And, um, as far as the labels that we sign for, for distribution, the artists that we sign for, as far as distributed artists or recording artists, um, I'm going to keep on building side block Jews entertainment until the end, until I'm gone, dead and gone. And um, and there's other things that's coming for Saw Block, and we have a lot of re- releases coming out, and things like that. So um, as far as business, um, business is good for the record label itself. Um, 
And I'm working on some other things as well. Definitely, definitely. Now, let anybody know about you know just you, you as a producer and as a as, as an artist. Um, me as a producer, I, I make a lot of beats. I make beats for um some beats for UPM Records Incorporated and, and other people, you know, certain artists under the labels. I make beats for. I also make beats for myself and 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 I help Drastic B, my co my co host out with some with some beats as well. Um, so definitely I, I produce a lot of music If anybody's looking for any um, beats or any production You can hit me up You can hit us up at Entertainment At gmail.com Or you can hit me up at kfuller1982.kf At gmail.com And um, I'll let you know more about the beats that I got And send you over some samples to take a look at um, As far as an artist um, I'm signed um I'm an artist for UPM Records and um, Incorporated. And, um, you know, um, I have you know, a few double singles out. You know, I Am, Party Jumping, um, Hood Motivator, Miss Grown and Sexy. Um, and I am also got the album that's dropping in the next few months. I don't have a release date yet, but it's dropping in the next few months. Um, it's called Ground Zero. Um, so yeah, make sure y'all 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 check me out. I just dropped my mixtape. It's called The Black. Yeah. So you want to you want to let anybody know anything about uh, to the artists out there or the or the or the, the people that start start a record label production company or you want to <coughs> about what what they need to do to get it done. All the artists out there, just keep pursuing your dreams. Keep pushing hard. You're going to submit your music to, to hundreds and millions and thousands of places. And and some people are just going to toss your shit to the side, but just keep sending to them. Bug their ass. You know, you you want to you wanna run a business, you know, and you don't have the funds to do it. Save your money. You know, my mom always taught me $20 a, $20 a paycheck. $20 a paycheck for a whole year. Just put it, put it away. Put it in your bank account. And at the end of the year, go back. And look at your bank account and see how much you saved. And I guarantee you, you'll save more than what you believe you saved. Yeah, that means even you can, you can take that money um, and sacrifice buying new, 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 new clothes or other stuff. Because, you know, you run a business, you got to just keep your other clothes intact. Mm-hmm. And save it. Instead, of, instead of taking that 20 or $30 and buying new sneakers, or which I know they're going to cost more than that, or buying new outfits and all that. Nah, you got to be like, listen, I'm going to have to just wear these old clothes. Keep them as clean as can be, mm-hmm. and and just take the money that I got and put it up, save it, save it, save it. Mm-hmm. That's what we call sacrifice. And don't let nobody, nobody try to tell you that that and otherwise. Because you gonna have people out there like, why are you wearing the same sneakers? Mm-hmm. Why are you doing this? Yep. Why, why you why you got no new clothes? All this stuff, all this stuff, and, and you have to yep. to that because like they they have no they they have no life. You know they have no they you know, they, they have life, but 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 you know. I don't, I don't see your vocals on the mic. Right. It's gone. Yes, you know they they you know they they don't have no life. What I mean by they don't have no life is that is that they um they, they ain't got the same dreams that you have. You understand? Mm-hmm. And so they don't know anything about sacrifice, and they just know that they're living for today. You know, uh, so you can't listen to them at all. You just gotta save that money and save that money and and, and just sacrifice like that. That's what that's what Killer's saying. That's what's up. That's what's up. You got to sacrifice, save your money, so you could do what you want to do. Yeah. Follow your dreams. Don't wait till late to do it. Do yeah. it early. Don't that's don't right. be like me and wait till late to do it. Yeah. You yep. know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll cause problems later on. Not not in, not just. You know, on the business side, but in your personal side. Yeah, what? And you don't really want that. So, and I'm saying for all the young people that's out there trying to make it, you know, try to try to learn how to sacrifice the things that you want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just so you can get the things that you need. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and, and I like to, 
Exactly. And also, you know, so uh, learn to 